Hi there, thanks for clicking on and watching. Just a quick video to see how paper two went yesterday. Just gonna have a little look through the paper, talk about some grade boundaries, and then have a little think about the next paper. Of course, it's paper three, the applied paper next week. So do like and subscribe as we get into the video. So how did paper two go? Hopefully it went well for you. Lots of people coming out a little bit more positive than they were for paper one. Maybe it was the shock of paper one, the fact that it was so long, there was a lot of maths involved. Had you spent a week looking a bit more about the advanced information and getting your head around the fact that you might have another 16 questions to do because there were 16 rows on the advanced information. So another 16 questions to do. But lots of marks up for grabs and lots of questions had access uh, parts to them where if, if you'd rehearsed how to do differentiation from first principles you know that was a straightforward the a to the x question we didn't have to integrate or differentiate that that was fairly okay a modulus function to start with was fine um, the functions question a little bit tricky um, uh, but I was pleased that I'd made a video talking about the domain of the function being the range of the inverse you just have to swap them around and make sure you put the y values um, so if you knew what you were doing there that that was fine the Ferris wheel, an awful lot to read again. And usually when we see that type of question, it's an R alpha form, but you didn't have to get R and alpha. That was already there. You just had to read the information and see what the A and the alpha were. But a lot to take in and a bit tricky when it's a modeling question, having to, to see what was going on. But the um, differential equation, a question that was quite routine. If you'd rehearsed that, there was eight marks up for grabs that were fairly straightforward. Um, um, and then trying to think about the limit and the delay, uh, you just had to put that the volume was zero and see what time when the volume was still zero in order to get what the delay was. Um, and then I was pleased again that I put a trigonometric identities and geometric series question in. So the question on the exam on that was fairly similar to one that I'd done on one of my videos as well. So uh, I was pleased that I'd been able to, to help some people um, access that one as well. So grade boundaries. In 2019, you needed 72% to get an A star and 55% for an A, 45% for a B. But in 2019, 16.6% .6 of the candidates got an A star and 24% got an A, 16.5% got a B. Compared with the teacher assessed grades, where 28.4% of candidates were awarded A star, 26.4 an A and 18.1 a B. So they have said that they will draw the grade boundaries somewhere between the two. So, you know, we, we, we don't know where the grade boundaries will be, but um, we will have to, to wait and see. So going to have a little look and think about the next paper, the applied paper. So let's have a look at the advanced information for that. So with the advanced information for paper three, the bullet points, well, they are quite broad, aren't they? They're basically saying, um, you know, it, it's an awful lot of the course that's going to be examined because it could be absolutely anything on any of these uh, bullet points. Um, the one thing here with the change of variable, if you have maybe a population growing exponentially and you have to take logs in order to get the straight line, well, that would be a change of variable or maybe you need to code the data so there's something to go on there with that change of variable in brackets uh, and there is a question in the topic tests that's on that sort of thing so I will try and find some time to put that on a video as well as doing some more questions for, for you to watch this week. Um, the mechanics again it's all quite broad um, I do remember from looking at the topic test which was a while ago that a lot of the moments questions were on things being uh, inclined against a wall or held in an inclined position rather than taking moments about something that's horizontal. So do be sure to check those topic tests and my videos. I've made a video, one for statistics and one for mechanics, where I've gone through each of these bullet points and done maybe one question on each. But I will try and find some time to put some more 
on this week. So two thirds of the maths A level is done. Pure is all done, just the applied to work towards. Um, but obviously you've been concentrating on your pure and your other exams. So it might have been a while since your focus is on the applied and they are completely different. So still lots of work to be done to get ready for that exam next week. So good luck with your revision. Do keep an eye out for any videos I post this week and have a look at the videos I've already put on. Uh, thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.